Hello, I am Katrick and today I'm making this video for the Construct 2 Academy. This video takes up where we left in the previous video a broad look at add-ons. If you haven't seen that previous one yet, I strongly recommend you to go and view it first. And to finish up, let's see some of the common events condition and actions. You can, once again, find them all in the official Construct2 manual when you are checking for either a specific plugin or behavior and always remember that you do have common features as well common conditions which are the one we are going to see common actions and expressions so if we take a quick look we can see that in the common conditions we can act on the angle of the plugins on their appearance we can compare their opacity or check if they are visible or not knowing that the visible property is a different property than the opacity. If the opacity is to zero but the visible property is set to true the is visible condition will be true even though we can't technically see the instance because of its zero opacity. You can have uh, actions and uh, conditions on the instance variables compare the value of the instance variable when you have a boolean type of instance variable see if it's set to true or to false and you can pick the highest or lowest value for the instance variable you are comparing in the miscellaneous you can see that you have a condition on created or on destroyed which are triggers they uh, refer there is the little uh, green arrow in the event sheet that means that the condition is not tested every tick but it does actually apply only when a specific event occurs for this condition for example on the touch it's only when I'm finishing the touch in the condition on created and on destroyed it's when an instance is created like with the create action I've used or when it is destroyed like for example using the destroy action or with as I've shown you with the destroy outside layout behavior it will trigger the on destroy condition for the tank instance and actually all the instance since they are contained in the other common conditions we can pick by unique UID so that allows you to say in the condition that you want the actions to only apply to a specific instance or to pick nearest furthest and that's actually by the position in the layout so the X and Y coordinates you can compare the size the width the height as well as the position X Y in the layout is on screen so if the current instance is drawn and appearing on screen and as mentioned even if the property is set to false or the opacity is to zero is the object supposed to be on screen true false when it's true the condition will be true and so the actions of those of this event will be applied and finally is outside of layout when outside of the uh, boundaries of the layout area and finally the Z order Construct2 is a 2D game making tool yet we do still use the 
z dimension it mostly to allow us to know what instance is on top of each other this is the impression of depth that we can uh, that we can get and so as far as condition goes we can see if the instance is on a specific layer and we can pick an instance like we have a bunch of stacked instances we can pick either the one that is on the top so the one we are seeing or the one that is on the bottom the one that is covered and underneath all the other instances be sure to read further the manual for any more explanations on that And the common actions will apply to about the same categories for the plugins. So the angle, we can rotate clockwise or, or counterclockwise. We can rotate directly toward a specific angle or toward a position. We can set directly a specific angle or set an angle towards a position. In the appearance, we can set the blend mode, as we have seen in the effects. We can set the effect to be enabled or disabled and set the effect parameters. We can set the opacity and set visible true or not. In the instance variables, we can add to, subtract to, we can set a specific value, we can set a Boolean value to be either true or false, or we toggle the Boolean. Toggling means that when the variable is currently true, we toggle it, we switch it to false. And if it is to false, we switch it to true. We don't set directly a specific value, we just flick a switch. We have the action to destroy an instance. And if we don't pick a specific instance, all the instances of the object type that is on the current layout will be destroyed. We can move at an angle, we can move forward our object from a specific amount of pixels. We can set its size or only its width or height. We can set its X position, its Y position or set its position directly, which is set the X and the Y in the same action. Or we can set its position to another object. So we will select the object type we are referring to and we can pass an image point as a specific reference of where we want the instance to be placed. As for the Z order, we can move to bottom or top, which allows us to, in a, in a case of stack of instances, to be sure about what instance appears on top and which instance appears at the bottom. We can change the instance and move it from a layer to another and we can actually move the object and place it in front or behind a specific other instance or object type. The expressions which can be used in the actions, the angle of the object which is pretty much the equivalent of the property we have seen in the layout editor, except we can access it at runtime. The opacity as JSON expression, as you can see, save the object state to a string of data that allows us to save and load objects directly from a string of data. Count is an expression that will return the number of instances of the object type. Picked count allows you in the condition to select only specific instances, for example, visible instances of an object, and return only the number of instances that are valid that do have this condition. So the picked count can be different from the count expression. IID and UID are the direct value. Size and position, so we have the bounding box left, bounding box right, top, bottom. I'll let you read this uh, further on, but know that for specific plugins, it's the collision box position. You have the width and height. You can 
access directly image point X image point Y which is the exposition of a specific image point same for the Y X and Y position of an instance the layer name the instance is currently on the layer number the instance is currently on and the Z index I hope you have enjoyed this video don't hesitate to check out some of the other Constructor Academy material. Thank you for watching.